Hi guys, welcome back to the channel for another video. Uh, it's a little bit of a throwback top situation. I haven't worn an off shoulder moment for some time, but given we are talking about somebody today who we haven't discussed for years now, it seemed appropriate to do a bit of a throwback wardrobe moment as well. Uh, today we're going to be talking about Ashy Bynes, who is a major fitness influencer in the online space and has been for some time. I was sent by multiple people a post that she put up in the last few days detailing trolling online that she's been on the receiving end of regarding comments about her body and more specifically her baby bump she is currently pregnant and we're definitely going to get into it i know that ashy's audience and ashy personally have had very strong feelings about videos that i have made in the past i am fully prepared for that like i said in my sarah's day video I empathize with that response when you like someone, when you admire someone, when you have bought into what they have sold you, uh, it is it is painful to question those things. So all I ask is for as much of an open mind and heart as you're able to give me, you know, the grace of. I mean, I that's what I'm here doing, learning from you guys and other people all the time. Um, but I also completely understand that response and your comments, if not abusive to me or anyone else, will not be deleted. Unlike a lot of people with platforms who we talk about, you have a right of reply here. Before we get into that, uh, on this topic, there was the launch of the Beautiful Body Kind online campaign, which is a collaboration between the Butterfly Foundation, for whom I am an ambassador, and Instagram this last week. I'm going to put some links below. It is absolutely gorgeous. Uh, and I was lucky enough to be asked to speak to a journalist at SBS News about the campaign and was totally blown away by how generous and gracious they were in detailing my work and my business beyond body. Finlay is now an eating disorder recovery coach. About three years in, I almost relapsed. Her three global three business years, and popular YouTube channel help her provide the same support for sufferers that she once needed. Every time I help somebody, it's kind of like I get one against the eating disorder. It's sort of the eating disorder took a lot from me, but all these years later, I've ended up taking a lot more. It just filled me with so much gratitude that I expressed on Instagram, but wanted to express here too. It was four years ago around this time of year that I launched Beyond Body as a one woman show. We are now a practice, a global practice with coaches all over the world. We can't keep up with requests for our services, which means there's a lot of people to help. The business is still growing. We are trying to get as much help out to as many people as possible. But I am just so personally grateful that this funny little video diary of mine only turned into what it did uh, because of you guys. So thank you for your time. For the last almost decade, uh, I just want you to know I never take it for granted. I am so deeply, deeply thankful. So Ashley Bynes, who is a leading fitness influencer in the space and has been for more than a decade, she has not just been a contributor, but I would say sort of one of the original voices and leaders of fitness and diet culture online with her bikini body challenges that I think she used to market. I hope that she doesn't sell those anymore. Uh, she has been around for a long time. And she took to Instagram to express her dismay and distress and hurt at having people online comment on her body and her baby bump as she is currently pregnant and that she just couldn't understand why these unwarranted comments are being aimed at her. Uh, she made quite a long post. I will put the full thing here so that you have the full context and you can have a look at it if you'd like to. And I had a number of her followers reach out to me saying, Mia, this is right up your street. You know, if you're going to make comments about, you know, how fitness influences and diet culture, etc., impact other people, shouldn't we be standing up for them as well? Absolutely. Uh, we absolutely should be. Uh, and I really agreed with so much of what she said. We should not be commenting on not just women's bodies, anybody's bodies. We should certainly not be commenting on pregnant women's bodies. We also have to understand where that comes from. So as much as I wanted to jump to Ashy's defense as I was asked to, I knew it would shock the hell out of her <laughs> to see me sitting here uh, jumping to her defense, which I am in part. I couldn't agree with her more. We should not be doing this to women. There was something in her caption which really struck me. There was a thread of women on Facebook commenting on my recent bump pics because my bump wasn't visible enough and I'm wearing a bikini. 
And recently women saying how much thicker I am this time around compared to Taj, her first child, or how round and full my face has become so quickly, but not my bump. I struggle to understand as I just would never make a negative comment about a woman, let alone a pregnant, beautiful belly. Again, let me reiterate, couldn't agree more, can really feel her hurt radiating out of that post. And I am incredibly sorry that that happened to her. When I was asked to jump to her defense, the reason why that is impossible for me to do with a whole heart is because a few years ago, Ashy did precisely what she is taking issue with in that caption. Tess Holliday, who is a plus size model and was pregnant at the time, had an entire post made about her, which I will put up here, but I'm going to give you a trigger warning. It is a photo that was also placed next to by Ashy, a photo of a woman who died from anorexia. It is an image which could be extraordinarily triggering. So please don't continue watching watching this video if it isn't if that is not going to be productive for you. I don't want to be the reason why the rest of your day goes off the rails. So please don't watch this video. No amount of views is worth that. Ashy put up a photo of Tess Holiday, who was pregnant at the time, next to a deceased woman who'd passed away from anorexia. Ashy had not done her research, did not realize this woman had passed away, and made an entire post essentially saying that Tess Holiday should not be publicly celebrated in any way made comments about her health status that she would like to see Tess Holiday walk up a flight of stairs and be able to keep her breath, uh, that she was essentially putting her child in danger because of her perceived health status, because of her size. And if we can just park for a moment, any feelings you might have about Tess Holiday, any feelings that you might have about people in different size bodies, if you've been here for long enough, you know my position, Ashy's position in this caption is that she would never comment on a woman's body, that she would never comment on a pregnant woman's body. That is simply not the case. Not only is that not the case, but given Ashy's position as somebody who has been a thought leader and a major contributor to what we all have deemed acceptable and normal within fitness and diet culture without questioning it for a long time. The truth is the reason why these women on Facebook deemed it appropriate to comment on her body is because Ashy had demonstrated and has demonstrated just that for some time. Let me just also say this. Women, anyone, put in all the descriptors and all the features Not only do they deserve the respect of not having the comment, but certainly not having it broadcast to hundreds of thousands of people to pile on, which is exactly what happened all those years ago. And as she stood by those comments, she went on her own Facebook Live to continue that position. She went on ABC Hack, an ABC program to back up those positions. Some of you will be looking at the date that she posted that and saying, Mia, Uh, That was years ago. Maybe she's changed her position. A, the post is still up. And B, I hope she has changed her position. I hope that her saying that she has never done what she has in fact done means that she feels so removed from that previous position that she backed up multiple times across different platforms, including national television. I hope she has changed her position. Here is the problem with the way that diet culture is shifting. I touched on this in the Sarah's Day video because diet culture is essentially being like pushed back into a corner because of anti-diet messages, because of growing research that we can see that links dieting to the escalation in eating disorders in what was already an eating disorder crisis, because there is currently in Australia a parliamentary inquiry into diet culture and fitness culture on social media and how that is exacerbating eating disorders, which is what I was just talking to SBS News about, they are terrified. That's why they're using terms like intuitive eating. That's why they're suddenly all about body acceptance. Their bread and butter used to be selling us diets for a toddler, literally the caloric intake of a toddler over a 12-week period, showing their bodies as the product and what was possible, even though genetically that is not possible. Uh, We were listening to them tell us whose bodies were wrong, whose were right. 
That set the tone. If Ashi is wondering why this group of women she came across on Facebook felt entitled to make horrible comments that I do not condone about her body, if she is wondering why that happened, she needs to look at her own demonstration over the last 10 plus years. And the fact that she has never apologized, taken accountability, given an explanation for why her position has changed. This is this huge disconnect that I recently have been taking issue with. As much as I am pleased to see those overt damaging diet culture messages changing, tweaking, becoming less horribly overt and dangerous, I'm also incredibly frustrated that people who have profited from, built platforms on, damaging messages that they are just now kind of sweeping under the rug and co-opting our language, co-opting our positions because it's no longer okay for them to talk the way they used to. Where's the accountability? Where's the apology? Why do you now expect for yourself what you weren't prepared to demonstrate for other people? What you made money from? What you gained notoriety from? That's the gap. And this is an opportunity for all of us to learn that if we had these leaders from these spaces come out and say, I screwed up, guys. I was part of the conditioning that I ended up contributing to. I was drinking the Kool-Aid and then I monetized my drinking the Kool-Aid and got you to drink my Kool-Aid. But there is always space for forgiveness. If she came out and said, I have taken that post down about Tess Holiday and I apologize to Tess Holiday, but mostly to the audience who I influence to believe that it is okay to comment on anyone's body for any reason, I would be the first one to send her a DM to make a video saying, thank you for your leadership. Thank you for doing what other people aren't prepared to do, which is taking accountability and responsibility to how you have contributed to a culture that is now turning back around on you. And like I said, I am so sorry that happened to her, just as I was so sorry for Tess Holiday when it happened to her, when Ashy was the one contributing to Tess Holiday's distress while she was pregnant. I'm sorry those women thought that was appropriate, acceptable, um, but they learnt it from you. They learnt it from fitness influencers and you built an empire on it. It hurts my heart to read and feel the pain that's coming out of her caption and uh, her, you know, absolute dismay that women would speak about her body in this way. I would just ask Ashy to connect to that feeling and know that that is precisely what Tess Holiday felt and that you probably feel that those women owe you an apology and a change in their behavior and accountability. I'm quite sure that's how Tess Holiday feels. I'm quite sure that's how your audience feels uh, who are also similarly in larger bodies and saw that message and went, oh, okay, because I'm in this body, it's okay to publicly humiliate me, judge me, scrutinize me, uh, put me down, make me feel less than. That's how we got to close this gap. That's how we've got to make a change. It pains me the most when I see women doing it to other women because we are the only ones who are going to break the cycle, right? We are the only ones who are really going to make change. And it comes back to cliches, treat others as you would like to be treated. And the fitness influencer diet culture world has a lot to account for in terms of how we treat each other, how we speak to each other, uh, particularly when it comes to our bodies. And it's my job, as uncomfortable as it might be, for me and for you, this ain't a picnic for me either. (laughs) Anxiety through the roof to offer you a different perspective, to give you a moment to push through that discomfort and go, yeah, where does it end? When does it stop? Well, it ends and stops when we acknowledge it happened and make a commitment to do something better or differently. So as always with these kinds of videos, say a prayer for the comment section. Uh, This is obviously, you know, an uncomfortable discussion for people who follow Ashy, for people who may have, you know, participated in this kind of behavior themselves. Uh, For Ashy, for me, I mean, anxiety, 12 out of 10. But I think they're really important conversations because 
we can get to different outcomes, but out, different outcomes requires a different approach and a different approach means doing something differently than we used to. And that usually means that we're pretty uncomfortable. So let me know your thoughts below. I will see you next week in another video, another podcast next Tuesday. The most recent episode went up yesterday. Those links below as well. Um, I hope that you are all staying safe and well, and I will see you soon. Bye guys. Bye.